Hello everybody, this is the second episode of IT News. In today's issue, you'll see an absolutely new way to search by Google, a breakthrough in the world of 3D printers, the cyber war Elon Musk vs Putin, the virtual mega yacht, and a smart electric vehicle for mass production. Google Lens can search for text and picture at the same time. Last year, Google announced the multi-search feature that lets you add text to your picture searches. Now this tool is available as an open beta test to some Google Lens users on Android and iOS. According to the developers, multi-search is an entirely new way to search, meant to broaden your search options in various situations, for example, when you don't have all the words to describe what you were looking for. This improvement could turn out to be really useful. For example, you have an orange dress and you'd like to buy another one like that, but this time in blue color. To find offers online, all you have to do is to take a picture of your dress and add the word blue. And multi-search will do the rest. As noted in the press release, multi-search is now possible due to latest advancements in artificial intelligence, which is making it easier to understand the world around you in more natural and intuitive ways. Anchor Make M5, a high-speed 3D printer. Anchor, the company known for producing smartphone chargers, has launched their first 3D printer. It announced a dedicated brand for 3D printing products, Anchor Make, and the first 3D printer model, Anchor Make M5. The manufacturer claimed that the new printer can solve the issues that prevented 3D printers from becoming mass market devices, especially the notoriously low printing speed. Anchor Make M5 has a basic printing speed of 250 mm per second when working on very detailed projects that require more precision and accuracy. However, this printer also has an, event, an even faster mode using acceleration speed that enables it to print up to 2500 mm per second, although this natural means the final result will lack in both detail and precision. This one is likely meant for prototypes and some ties. Nevertheless, Anchor claims that this mode can reduce average printing time by almost 70% in comparison with similar printers. Anchor Make M5 is designed with easy use in mind. It takes only 15 minutes to get ready for printing. Also, its developers claim to have fixed one more issue so typical for 3D printers – the need for constant monitoring of the process. M5 features a built-in AI camera monitoring to control how the printer works on its tasks. If it detects a problem, for example a blocked nozzle, it can send a notification to the user's smartphone. With the Anchor mobile app, you can even watch live broadcasts of your printer doing its job, and do it remotely while you can be virtually anywhere. Musk vs Putin About a month ago, Elon Musk challenged Putin to single combat for Ukraine. He never received a response from Putin, but Mr. Rogozin answered instead. In reality, Elon Musk and Putin never fought each other. But still, they can face each other on a virtual battlefield created by Ukrainian programmers in the game Musk vs Putin. The project aims to attract more attention to the war in Ukraine and to fundraise for the needs of the people affected by this conflict. The browser game Musk vs Putin is based on Unity. It is a simple fighting game where you can only move about by pressing arrow buttons and use two ways of hitting the enemy and blocking their attacks. You start as Elon Musk and have to fight Putin's henchman Kadero first. When he's defeated, it's time to engage the boss, the Russian president himself. All this time, Musk only uses one hand to fight. All in-game action takes place against the background of the destroyed city of Mariupol and with the accompaniment of the well-known Ukrainian patriotic song Oh, near the meadow there is a red viburnum. When both invaders are defeated, you will see a link to the webpage that collects donations to help refugees and Ukrainian victims of this war. Cyber Yachts, the company known for its top-class yacht, is going to break its own record by offering for sale a ship worth $400 million. The project named Inda is distinguished by its revolutionary design and features a casino, gym, sauna, helicopter spot, and 12 luxury cabins to accommodate a total of 24 guests. The yacht has a top speed of 24 knots with a range of 7,000 nautical miles. It was reported, though, that the yacht is only sold for cryptocurrency. With all the luxury and style, there is only one disadvantage – the yacht is a virtual one. And that is because of the metaverse that has been gaining significant popularity and value over the past year. 
You can only visit the yacht during VIP events or online games in the metaverse created by cyber yachts. The virtual world seems to have so many truly astonishing things to bring us in the nearest future. An electric crossover by Smart Smart Company is finally ready to present a mass-produced version of their electric crossover concept number no. 1. The new vehicle, branded as Smart No. 1, looks very similar to the prototype. The series-produced car has retained the frameless windows and glass roof. At the same time, engineers sacrificed some conceptual excesses such as scissor doors, large 21-inch wheels, and there's a conventional three-seat bench in the back instead of two chairs. The electric vehicle is powered with a 66 kWh battery that provides you with a range of 440 km. With all that, it only takes you 3 hours to get the battery level from 10% to 80% when using a 22 kWh charger, and you'll get the same result in less than 30 minutes if you're lucky to have a 150 kW DC charger instead. The Smart comes with a 200 kW engine and can accelerate to the top speed of 180 km per hour. Inside, you'll find a 12.8-inch infotainment screen, a 9.2-inch digital instrument cluster, and a 10-inch heads-up display. Other nice features include driver assistance, 7 airbags, and a digital key option to share your electric vehicle with friends. The car's dimensions are as follows. 4,270 mm long, 1,822 mm wide, and 1,636 mm high with a wheelbase of 2,750 mm. The curve weight of the new vehicle is 1,820 kilos, and it claims to have the payload capacity of 450 kilos. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching, and see you again in the next IT News video. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. While you're watching this video, civilians in Ukraine are dying from attacks and bombardments on the Russian Federation. Putin's insane regime has attacked a peaceful country in the very heart of Europe. Support the Ukrainian army by making a contribution to the fund Come Back Alive. Use the QR code or the link below the video to transfer any amount of money that will boost Ukrainian resistance and help it counter Russia's desirable invasion.